Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at Thayvon Parkfield. Going to take out the Butcher Bird, Falk Wolf 190, and uh, from Dynam. This is their version too. It's got the split flaps. Let me show you the flaps real quick. You may not be able to see them because they're underneath. Oh, there you go. All right, a little windy, actually pretty windy. It's out of that way. <laughs> so not really with the runway, but that's okay. We'll give it a shot anyways. Now you can get this at FPV, uh, FPV Builds and Tech up in uh, West Babylon, New York. Put a link to the description of the video. And I, I believe they're still running their uh, end of summer sale. If you buy one of their Dynam planes, you'll get a free uh, battery with it. So right, left, up, and down, right, left. All right. Timer set for five minutes or five and a half minutes actually. And I'm running a 4500 4S all the way forward. Well, pretty much all the way forward. It's a Sokokan brand. Yeah. It is kind of windy. Running an AR631 Spectrum receiver. Boy, she's just a smooth flying locked in warbird. Wind is really moving her around though. Time remaining five minutes. As you can see, even on a 4S, she's uh, not a super fast plane. But you know what? That's okay. Flyer scale. I wouldn't, I would not, I guess you could try to fly her on 3S, but I tried the version one of this on 3S, which has the same motor, and I couldn't even get it off the ground. So, do what you want, but I don't think it, it is advisable. All right. Landing flaps. Landing flaps are in. I don't notice any uh, discernible uh, diving or rising, just slowing down a little bit. It is windy. The uh, spinner rattles a little bit. That's why you're hearing that noise. Retracts it down. All right. It's really too windy to be flying today. <laughs> but y'all know me. Flats are up. I don't really care about the wind sometimes. Don't always make good choices. Hold on, don't like it, so go around. If you don't like it, go around. If I can keep this from nosing over, if I hit the grass, that is. There we go. All right. Gonna turn it around a little bit. Got to back up a little bit so she'll stay in frame on the camera. Time remaining three minutes. Yeah, deal with that cross breeze, cross runway. Uh, Brent wind is kind of a booger bear because it's basically out of the south and this is an east-west running uh, runway get that wheel get that tail up off the ground and then drive her up Full speed into the wind. Good flying plane. Good flying plane. Retracts it down. 
tractor down. Time remaining two minutes. But we're gonna have to go go in though, folks. It's just doesn't look like it's gonna get any better. And I don't know. I can't get the wind filter working on the phone, so. One thing I might start doing with this phone is I can I have the ability to hook up the mic that I normally use when when camera precious is filming, and uh, I'll hook up that mic and it's got the, the wind little dead cat on little wind muff thing on there and that really helps and we might try that one. All right, still got a minute and a half. Let's take off one more time. I want to use up the battery and get up off the get your tail up. Make one pass without the gear down. Yeah, that wind's really rocking her around. One minute. Retract to down. Yeah, that spinner is noisy. And it's balanced too, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Now this crosswind, I'm going to come right at, point it right at me, and then turn back towards the runway. There. About as good as you're going to get with this wind right now. Good looking bird. All right, you look at that spinner long enough, you get sick. <laughs> All right, we had 30 seconds left on a five and a half minute timer, so a full five minutes of flying. The uh, I'll get the strap on the phone here, sorry. And uh, prop is off. Show you my setup here. Now this little black thing you see here. That's just a little antenna mod that I've done. Put out that way I pull that and I, I can pull the battery hatch off without having to dig at the hatch with my, with my uh, fingernails. All right, that's where I've got the 4500. Hopefully you can see this. The 4500 all the way forward. Uh, well, almost all the way forward. You could tuck it in a little bit further, but that's just where she CGs at really well. And Oh gosh, still got 75% left on this battery. <laughs> and we've already flown for five minutes, so we're gonna have to go up again. I gotta get that battery down, but at least below 50. So I'm gonna do a couple more. Gosh darn it, we're just gonna have to keep flying. Gosh darn it. D uh, Dynam planes are so light. They're tough, but they're light. And for that reason, Makes them very good on batteries, very easy on batteries. So we'll just keep on a rolling there. Remember, you want to get that tail up off the ground, stay on that rudder, and then just let her lift off. flying bird okay the wind would wouldn't be a be a lot nicer wasn't so much wind time remaining five minutes i reset the timer we'll go about another two minutes and we'll call it quits if you kind of, you may be able to make out that little red light on the end of that wing that really helps the orientation because she has a very thin silhouette and she's going right beside you there. Take her up, flip her. Whoa, she didn't like that. 
I guess you call that a speed stall. But we saved her. Good looking plane. Good looking plane. Time remaining four minutes. Do a barrel or roll, no problem. Retracts are down. And the retracts, they have gone, Dynam has gone in there. Now they haven't added suspension, which I wish they would. But Dynam has gone there and, re, and improved the uh, reliability of their retracts as far as them going up and down. <laughs> Which is a huge deal with a dynam. There we go. We'll do one more. One more time. Try to get us another, another nice pass. Maybe go by a little lower. Right, a little bit lower of a pass there. Retract to down. Whoa. Okay. Now, like I say, the wind is pretty fierce right now. It's gusty. Gusty and unpredictable. So we're going to improve upon that landing. You know, I can't leave it that way. Nice scale takeoff. I'll leave the retracks down. Well, let me make sure. Okay, good. Whoa! Oh boy. Prop is secured. That's called the nose Tokyo nose slide. And that's not what you're supposed to do. But like I keep saying, motor is on. Dynams are tough. back where I'm supposed to be standing here. All right. Now let's check that battery. Yeah, look at that spinner. That's cool, isn't it? Prop is secured. And believe it or not, that's all balanced. It just makes a racket. All right, let's check the battery now. Hopefully, I'm below 50% this time. I'm not used to using this smart checker. Okay, 38%. That's right where I want it to be. That's perfect. So, we flew 
basically flew for nine minutes total of nine minutes so not bad at all not bad at all now let's check our retracts so if we have that bad um now i want to show you all something you see these plates here okay these reinforcement plates here okay if you notice that your retracts are feeling weak in the in the wing themselves back out these four screws that plate will slide out and that's what sandwiches these screws in, they sandwich into the wing that way holding it in so all i do is i back those out back them screws out line that with with uh, gorilla glue with uh i mean with uh a gorilla brand hot glue and then sandwich them back in and screwed them back in now them now that that whole structure is much more secure that's just a great little quick quick easy fix mod if you notice that your gear feels loose in its housing let's make sure our gear is up oh, that one's bent back a little bit but that's easy enough to fix all i gotta do like i said that's just the chicken wire they're going up and down that's just that chicken wire is bent you just pull that forward just a little bit and she'll and bend that forward just a little bit and she'll go right back that's normal with that type of a retract that chicken wire is going to bend that's going to happen you just got to bend it back just a little and it'll, it'll pop right back in there no problem well there you go folks that is the dynam fock wolf 190. um i believe that fbv builds and tech still has their but don't quote me on it but they should still have their end of summer sale so if you get one of their Dynam planes, I'll put a link in the description of this video to get one. Yes, I am an affiliate with them, um, but I got this bird before I became an affiliate. Just so you know, same thing with that Bristol they sold me. I got that before I became an affiliate with them. So I recommend these planes. Um, they're just good flying planes. Dynam, you, you have to do. You have to put a little more work into a Dynam. Okay, you do. You got to put a little more work. You got you to take your time. Don't be in a hurry to get her put together and in the air. You got to make sure everything's right before you take her up. Make sure all your linkages are right. Make sure your, your uh, hinges are secure. Okay, just make sure everything's working right and, and running right. And just, but there again, a Dynam is also a third less in cost than your E-Flight and your Arrows and your FMS and things like that. They just, they cost a whole lot less and so and they're very economical on batteries i got 4500 battery i think i got off my amazon for like 45 dollars and i flew for the better part of nine minutes okay you get spend 100 bucks get you two batteries you can fly for 20 almost 20 minutes you know or 18 minutes okay and that's a lot of flying with an rc plane and they're very tough they're they're very light foam they're easy on the wallet easy on batteries and they're just good flying planes but you do have to put some work into them and actually i like that about dynams that's one of the charms they have well folks thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget folks faith family and friends happy memorial day i know i, I realized i brought a non-american bird out to fly on memorial day and i kind of wish i hadn't wish i would have brought an american bird but this is just i wasn't thinking about that but uh, this is what i brought and uh it's just a good flying bird. Just a good flying bird. Good flying war bird. And uh, those marks right there, those black on them wings on either side, that's the CG mark. So if you look at that panel line right there, go that uh, corner, that panel line, that's where the CG is. Same thing on the other side. All right, well, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. God is great. And this is the Dynam Falkwolf 190 version 2. Bye-bye, y'all.